Why do my guitar strings seem to flow like this when I plug them, almost like waves on water? Am I doing magic, or is it some sort of clever video editing trick? Well, I didn't quite make the cut at Hogwarts, and I'm really not that clever, so... Nope. As fancy as it might seem, this is actually done with a simple camera technique that you can do right at home, with no editing whatsoever. So keep watching for a deep dive into what makes this effect work, and how to do it yourself. Hi everyone, welcome to Nexus Audio Visuals. My name is Rohan and I hope you're staying clean, quarantined, and everything in between. So I was totally blown away when I found out how to create this insane visual of flowy, wavy guitar strings. Today, I wanna to share the secret of that shot with those of you who are as bored as I am and maybe looking for something to stimulate your creativity. To achieve this effect, you'll need a digital camera. You might get away with using your smartphone, but ideally you'll want one that lets you control your camera settings manually. And of course, you'll also need a string instrument. I use my guitar because, well, that's all I got, but you should also be able to replicate this effect with a ukulele, a violin, cello, and so on. All right, so let's start by building an understanding of how digital cameras actually work. To take a picture, a digital camera basically relies on three main components, a lens, a shutter, and a light sensor. For now, all you need to know about the lens is that it directs and focuses light towards the camera's shutter and sensor, which are the two main parts that we're concerned with for this video. When you take a picture, the camera triggers the shutter to open. Think of the shutter which is located directly behind the lens as a kind of gate that lets light pass through to the sensor when it opens. When the sensor is done receiving light and the shutter closes, the camera's electronics convert the light information into pixels which form your picture. Videos are basically a bunch of these still pictures, also called frames, captured very quickly back to back. Then, when these frames are played back in sequence at a fast enough rate, your brain perceives them as a moving image. Next, let's focus more closely on the sensor. There are two types of light sensors that most digital cameras use to capture pictures and video. In some cameras, all parts of a frame are captured by the sensor simultaneously. This is known as a global shutter system because the entire frame is recorded all at once when the shutter opens. On the other hand, many consumer grade cameras have a different type of sensor system that does not capture the entire frame at the same exact time. Instead, each frame is actually scanned and assembled line by line in horizontal slices, producing the complete final image. This is called a rolling shutter because the frame is constructed over over a set amount of time in a rolling fashion from top to bottom. Chances are that your own camera or smartphone also uses this system. The rolling shutter is the key to the guitar string camera illusion. When a camera with rolling shutter films something that's either stationary or moving slowly enough, the sensor has enough time to scan the entire frame from top to bottom without the subject's position changing enough to cause distortion. This produces a pretty normal looking image. When the subject is moving more quickly, things start to get interesting. For example, take these pictures I found online of propeller blades spinning around on airplanes. There's nothing unusual about the propellers. And again, there's no editing here. The rolling shutter is what causes the propellers to look distorted and disconnected as they spin around many times per second. Just to show you that this is all done in camera, I was able to replicate a video version of the rolling shutter effect with a wall fan. It's kind of trippy, right? You can visualize how the rolling shutter effect actually produces these weird distortions in this animation I made, which represents the camera taking a single picture or frame if we're talking about video. As the propeller turns, each new individual slice that the camera scans captures the blade's positions at a later and later point in time. Put all the slices together and you get this unusual image that looks nothing like the actual shape of the propeller. Now let's start to figure out how you can actually reproduce the rolling shutter effect yourself. This effect only works when you set your camera to record each frame very quickly by allowing the shutter to open and expose the sensor to light for only a very tiny fraction of a second. This setting is referred to as a fast shutter speed. Set the shutter speed to slow and your strings will start to look blurry since they'll move around too many times per frame for the camera to capture them sharply. Setting the shutter speed can be a bit confusing because a low number means a fast speed. For example, here are the camera settings I use for the shot of my wall fan. You can see that my shutter value is set to a very small number, which is the amount of time per frame in seconds that the shutter was open and exposing the sensor to light. This means that the shutter is opening and closing very quickly. Basically, you'll want to make your shutter value a very small fraction, which represents a fast shutter speed. You'll also have to film in either a very well-lit space or outdoors. That's because you'll be filming with a very fast shutter speed, meaning that the sensor will only have a very brief moment to capture light. So unless you want your footage looking like you forgot to take off the lens cap, let there be plenty of light. As a side note, if you don't have manual control over your settings, you can try to force your camera to a fast shutter 
shutter speed just by filming in a bright place. The camera should automatically try to avoid overexposing the image or making it too bright by raising the shutter speed so that light hits the sensor for less time per frame. So at this point, you're probably wondering, are we finally ready to create the wavy guitar strings? And the answer is, Almost. We're in the home stretch, but there's just one more factor that makes this different from the fans and propellers. Direction. Since flat spinning objects have some parts moving in all directions in the image plane, there will always be some part of the spinning blades affected by the rolling shutter. But in order to use this effect on a guitar, you have to remember that the motion of its strings is very noticeable in the up and down or vertical direction when the guitar is held normally and practically non-existent in the left and right or horizontal direction. As you can see in this clip, the rolling shutter effect doesn't work at all when the strings are horizontal. So since the distortion caused by rolling shutter only kicks in when there's significant movement between the slices that make up each frame, this effect will only work if the guitar strings are held perpendicular to the scan lines of your sensor. That ensures that the scan lines are traveling along the correct axis to capture the movement that you're interested in. Long story short, if you're holding your guitar normally, you'll want to film in portrait mode instead of landscape. That's why the shot of my guitar might look a little low res, since I had to zoom in to a vertical video. So that's pretty much all there is to it. To recap, if you want to recreate this effect, you'll need to 1. Set a high shutter speed, 2. Make sure you have bright lighting, and 3. Position your camera so it's in portrait mode or at least perpendicular to your strings. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I'd definitely appreciate if you considered subscribing to my channel and liking this video. It'll really help me reach new people and grow this community. Plus, I plan to make more fun and interesting videos like this one in the future, so if you subscribe, you're less likely to miss those. So until next time, stay safe, smart, and healthy, and I'll see you soon.